हाँ फुशीगीन थ्री हाउस What does that mean? The mysterious treehouse, or I guess magic treehouse, but yep, more <laughs> mysterious than magical. <laughs> Shiggy, man. Um, and um, mayors. Next one for you. Uh, Onichan, nan no han, nan no hono yonda, yonde ta no. Yeah. Nice. So nan no hono yonde ta no. This is the same as yano hon, yonde ita no. The uh. E got deleted because they're kind of slurring because they're talking. What do you think that means? Uh, like Big Brother. Uh, what what book are you reading? Exactly, perfect. And feverish. You do this one. All right. Uh, Emoto no uh, ani. Yeah. Yep. And then uh, Suki, uh, Suki Pushi uh, Nagara, and then uh, Jaku Ni uh, Kita. Nice. So Kita from Kiku has two possible meanings. Which meaning do you think it has right over here? Uh, it was in the vocab. I think it's like to have asked. Yes. So what does this say? Uh, well, I know the first part means like my little sister Annie. That's yeah. And then uh, oh, like she was skipping. Yep. You know what <laughs> Nagara means? Uh, ooh, ooh, I'm not, I'm not sure. It means while. Oh, okay. So what did Annie do while she was skipping? She was skipping while Jack was asking a question. Sounds so like. right here we have knee, which is a towards type thing. And the subject here is Annie. Annie ga kita. So Annie is the one who asked Jack a question. Jack ni kita. So, oh. be list, so asking toward Jack. Okay. So the little sister Annie, while skipping, asks Jack a question. And um, quigring. <laughs> Your turn. Uh, I think he just said his microphone's not working, so he'll be back. Oh, okay. Oh. Nice. Thank you. Uh, oh, Chats sorry. are always Speaking hard. Next session. Okay. Cool. Then, um, uh, Myers, one guy she must. Onji iru no taiyo ga nishi no sora ni kutamute iru. So that's like uh, the orange setting sun, uh, or the sun that was orange was setting in the west. Exactly. Perfect. Nice. Um, ここ America no Pennsylvania shoe. This right here is America's state of Pennsylvania. And um, Archie, onegaishimasu. Um, Jack to Annie wa Frog Creek to you machino shogakse da. Nice. Jack and Annie are elementary students in the town of Frog Creek. Perfect. And feverish? Futari wa Toshokan no Kaeri Michi da ta. Nice. Do you know what a toshokan is? A library. Nice. Do you know what a kairu is? <laughs> the verb kairu. To return home. Yep. So kairi michi. What do you think that means? Uh, I guess like returning home. Yes. Do you know what michi means? Uh, I think it's like a path of some it sort. It is. So kairi michi together has the meaning of like the path of going home. So it's like the... It's saying like they're on the road of going home from the library. Hmm. What does futari mean? I think that means two people. Yep. So all together, what does it say? Uh, uh, both of us returned uh, home from the library. 
Yeah. So um, the story in Japanese is basically served from a third person narrator rather than from us being like necessarily a member. So it means those two, so Jack and Annie, rather than being both of us, which would be more like if Jack was telling the story, which I think the English version, it might be from like Jack's point of view. I'm not sure, I haven't read the English version in a long time. Same way here, the Imoto no Annie, just means Annie the Imoto, rather than my little sister Annie. So it's very like, um, like a narrator sitting here. So uh, then an actual member of the group. Oops, hi. Um, and um, I'm actually going to have Feverish do this one part right there. Uh, what does that mean? Uh, I think it's like a dinosaur book. <laughs> exactly. So now Archie. Uh, Megane o Osae Nagara Jack da Itta. Um, so like while pushing his glasses, Jack said that. Exactly. Perfect. And um, Myers, you get a lot of katakana. <laughs> sure, no problem. Uh, before we go any further, though, yes. uh, Stigwin just asked, frog uh, kikutoa, and then question mark. I'm assuming he's. Asking, uh, that's that's the, that um, the name of the the town that they live in. So it says Frog Creek, and, they want, and it's like Frog Creek. Well, Frog Creek, I guess. Frog Creek. So yeah, it's just a silly study name. Nice. Thank you for noticing that. <laughs> uh, no problem. Uh, let's see. Iguana don stegosaurus kyoryu no oja taranasaurus. Yeah, just dinosaur, dinosaur. Kyoryu no oja dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> so, what does kyoryu no oja mean? Uh, the dinosaur like uh I, I, maybe like king or or yep. like olja dude. so the king of the dinosaurs which most of us know is a t-rex tyrannosaurus which is a t-rex um and mayors you can continue that what jack has been saying uh so not that long ago, we saw Toyu and 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 Toyu um, but a yokuryu is a kind of kyoryu. You can see how they both end with a ryu in their name. Uh, so we know it's some kind of dinosaur and that it has tsubasa, which means wings. And it has the ability to sora o tobu. What does that mean? Uh, to fly in the sky. Exactly. So um, the dinosaur is the one that starts with like a ph that I don't remember how it's pronounced, you know that flying thing that's not exactly a dinosaur i think it has been discovered but it's basically a dinosaur <laughs> like the, you know that i have no idea what you're talking about you don't know the the, the, oh, one, the, the dinosaur oh, okay, okay, that, okay. That, can, that can fly uh, pterodactyl 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 yeah it starts with a ph or well pt pterodactyl exactly that's what it is a yokordu is a pterodactyl um so Ano jidai. You know what that means? Uh, that period. Yep. So ano jidai. So um, so we have a yokoryu mo itanda. What does that mean? Uh, also existed. Yes. So I think another thing that probably confused you was this no right here. Because um, I this is not normally like taught. I feel like in classes this is the pronoun. No. So this right here has the same meaning in this context as kyoryu. 
So this is Yokuryu te iu kyoryu mo itanda. However, because he already, we already know the topic that he's talking about, our Kyoryu, because that's the book he's reading. He's reading a book about dinosaurs. So he listed, you know, a whole bunch of dinosaurs. So obviously he's still talking about dinosaurs. So they use the pronoun no here, which is very similar to it or something. So there was also one that was called Yokuryu. So one in this case would be the English pronoun. Um, so that's what that is. So this right here is just a filler word for kyoryu, because who has time to say that? Um, and feverish. Yes. Jaku uh, wa molsugu kyusai. Uh, it seems like Jack was almost nine years old. Exactly. So that means he's eight. Um, Archie, onigashimasu. Hon o yondari, shizen o kansatsu shitari suru no ga daisuki na otoko no ko da. So, um, Jack is a boy who likes to read books and uh, observe nature. Perfect. Yep. Next page. Boop. Boop. Here's a little picture. Hey. <laughs> and feverish. Want to go see us? Yes. Totsuzen. Uh, Ani uh, ga sakenda. Nice. Do you know what totsuzen means? Oh, I think this is in the vocab. I totally forgot though. <laughs> so totsuzen means suddenly. Oh, okay. So trying to help you by getting sakendas. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Do you have any idea what sakenda might mean? That's kuchi in it. Um. Yeah. So it has to do with using your voice, your mouth. Sakenda. Um, to yell? Yes. Yep. Sakenda means to yell. So suddenly Annie yells. And what does she yell, Myers? <laughs> like there's a monster. Behind you. Ushironi. Eto. And feverish again. Yes. Uh, Ani wa uh, nanasai. Oh, yep. Annie was seven years old. Yep. So Annie is seven. Jack is eight. So they're super close in age. Um, Archie, onigaishimasu. Kyuryu no namae o oboere yori. Kuso no sekai de asobu hoga. Tanoshi. Nice. Can you say this word once more? Um, Kyoryu. Nice. I, think I said Kyoryu. You did. <laughs> what? Um, so uh, we're talking about Annie, and she has more fun playing like in fantasy worlds. Yep. Rather than remembering the names of. Dinosaurs. Perfect. And Myers, what do you guys from us? Doko ni kaiju de aerunda yo. Jaku wa unzari shite ita. Where is this monster? Uh, but it's like kind of like forceful. And then uh, I'm guessing unzari shite is maybe like. I'm guessing he's, it, it's like a questioning word, but I don't really know. That's a good guess. So um, part of it is that when you see dokoni, you're assuming that there's some kind of question here, but this doesn't actually end with like a question at the end of the sentence or anything. So this actually gives off more of a rhetorical question. So like, um, 
<laughs> where so like, it's like oh sure oh sure exactly so that anxiety is actually more like oh sure where's the dinosaur so that kind of like fed up it with oops fed up up with kind of like you're just kind of done with life like oh anxiety shit that's that's the way in which um he said because it sounds like Annie has possibly been doing this multiple times during the trip, perhaps. And he's like, okay, Annie, where's the dinosaur? Uh, okay, and um, feverish. You'll be doing both, but we'll pause after each one. Okay, okay. Uh, for the first one, uh, Oda, uh, Oi Kake Tech. Nice. Do you know what um, this oi, <laughs> oi kakete, kakeru means? Yeah, it's like to chase. Exactly. Then we have this little kuru being attached here. Do you know how that changes? Like, doesn't like change the meaning, but what kind of meaning this adds to it? It sounds like uh, it's like saying that I will chase you. That's a good guess, but it's definitely not saying that so um so this right here is something that i like to call like the third person camera so when you have like te form so like oi kakete um you can add different things to the end for example when you first start learning japanese you learn iru oi kakete iru which means to be chasing something basically so you can also say oi kakete ku iku so this would mean that something is chasing something away from you the speaker and kuru means something is chasing something toward you, the speaker. So oi kakete kuru has the kind of insinuation, because you can see a lot of stuff has been dropped from the sentence, that the monster is probably chasing Annie and Jack, since it's chasing toward them. But theoretically, it could be chasing a squirrel, and the squirrel is heading straight toward them. And you could also use oi kakete kuru in that case. So since it's going toward the speaker, we can use kuru. Well, um, if it was just happening where you're seeing, like you just you have your eyes open and you see someone like them running around, you would use iru. And if you saw them run off screen, then it's iku. Does that make sense? Uh, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. So it's, it's sort of like asked or sit, sort of like saying, you know, like it's chasing us. It's chasing us. Yep. So next is this. Cool. Uh, mori hekaku. <laughs> yep, mori e kakure nakya. What do you think that means? Uh, the, the first kanji is woods. Yep. And we have kakure ru. Oh, to hide. Yes. So this nakya means we must. We must do this. Mori e kakure nakya. We must hide. <laughs> and he says kyoso yo. And kyoso just means it's a race. It's a race. Um, and Myers, what do you guys want to ask? Uh, so you to Aniwa, Hitori de Morini, Hoe, Hashte, Ite, Shimata. See, right here, we have an example of Ite rather than Kuru. Just pointing that out since we just talked about it. Uh, right. uh so, sorry, so, so any. Ito. What does that mean? So uh, you to. Uh, uh, having said that. Yep. Annie has basically started running towards the. Uh, ran to the forest. Uh, would would this be completely ran to the forest? Yes. Um, it is the completely that sucks meaning. Ah. Uh, so Jack is not very happy about this. So yeah, she completely ran off to the forest. We can no longer see her because it's ite, right? So she's completely gone away from the wherever our camera is set up in the story. And our camera tends to follow Jack, but we can't like, um, we're a little bit separate from Jack. We're kind of like a ghost that like, that's sitting in Jack's backpack. Um, and hitori de, you know what that means? Uh, by herself. Yep, so all by herself. So she left Jack behind. Um, and Archie, onigaishimasu. Um, Yuhi ga mori no mukou ni 
Shizumi wa. Oh, wait. Shizumi Hajime Deire. Nice. Um, so the, the evening sun. Um, set, setting? Or, yeah. Okay, across. This <laughs> Mukol, I feel like it's like a hard song. Yeah. <laughs> Um, a, a, like across the uh the forest. Well, across um, from the forest. Across from the forest. Um, I'm not sure how Shizumi also fits. So Shizumi means to sink. To sink. Okay. So this also works if you're sinking in water, like you're dying. She, okay. <laughs> she, this is the same same word. That's why water radicals in it. Um, so it's just like in English. It's one of those. Mm. positive um metaphors i don't know how <laughs> so um so katamuitera means the sun setting but it's probably more like um the sun ha like the sky is turning the orange and the pink but the sun has not actually started sinking behind the horizon line mm -hmm. so the shizumi hajimeta means the sun has officially started the um actual sinking process so it's hajimete start started um, and um myers onigaishimasu mosugu hii ga kure chao yo jaku wa shinpai ni natte kitta eh a little more I, I think he's saying he's waiting for the sun to set a little more and he's worried that's pretty close to what they're saying. So mosugu, you're right, can mean a little bit more. But this time we're talking about jikan, so like time. So this means very soon in this context. Mm -hmm. So very soon the sun is going to kureru, which means to grow dark. So the day is getting dark, in other words. And this chao is um, shimao, right? So um, like we saw earlier with hashite shimatta. So what do you think that's adding to this? Uh, it's kind of like a sense of dread. Yes, exactly. And the shimpai ni natta, you're correct, Jack, has become um, feared. They're using kite here to kind of kind of insinuate that he's been a little worried for a bit now, but he didn't really like notice how worried he was. But suddenly he's being like engulfed in the worry. So it's kind of like if there's like a cat stalking you and it jumps at you, that's the kita of worry so it's not like a suddenly he's worried but like suddenly he has noticed how worried he is and he's kind of drowning in it <laughs> tends to be how that uh works um and feverish just do what's in the speech bubble yes uh ani uh mo kairo kairo so we got kairu turning into kairo what does kairu mean knew that earlier yes uh to go home yes and then now it's in kaido form what do you think why why what what form do you th why like what why do you think that how that meaning changed uh i'm a bit spoiled because i looked at the flashcards i think it's like let's go home or... yep exactly <laughs> let's go home <laughs> any more kaido the most kind of like let's already go home like he's he's very like fed up like let's go home right now <laughs> And um, Archie, what Um, Shibaraku matte mo, ani wa modotte konai. Um, he waited a little while, but Annie still didn't come back. Basically, it's not exactly saying that, but most likely he did wait a little bit. Okay. What, do you know what Temo is doing here? Um, oh my gosh, I should know this. Uh, um, it was the even even though okay yeah yeah so this is like even if even though even if he like continued to wait for an extremely long time annie will not come back mm -hmm. so most okay. likely he has waited a little bit but this is more of an example than a saying he for sure waited a while it's just saying no matter what no matter how long he waits mm -hmm. this is not going to happen but he definitely probably did wait a little bit because normally they do it 
a little bit <laughs> when, when they do it. But I just uh, the way you translate it would be a little bit different. Gotcha. And then we have that konai right here, which is the same thing that I told you earlier about kuru. Um, mm. Coming toward the speaker, so it's saying even even if he will not return toward Jack, so this negative form of kudu. Annie and um, feverish. Want to go shimas? Yes. Suru to ani no koe ga kae te kita. Sorry, I, I covered it on accident. <laughs> <laughs> Want to grab you the kanji? Oh, so it's, uh, I think it's like to return, right? It is to return. It's different than the other kaidu in that you're not returning home with this. This kaidu is a returning only allowed for certain things. Do you know what it's allowed for? Um, uh, I guess like a response of some sort or voice. Basically, it's it's only allowed for non um, living things. So earlier, when we were talking about Annie returning to Jack, we had modotte. So modoru can be used with humans, but kaite cannot be used with humans. And modoru doesn't really get used with koi. So you wouldn't say, Annie no koi ga modotta would be a little weird. So that's, so this kaite is for inanimate objects like voices, and modotte is for people. Oh, okay. And um, Myers, what do you guys want? Uh, Oni chan, just a little bit. Jack wa yari yari to omui nagara mori no nake e wa itte itta. Yeah, hi. So, uh, oh, yes, that makes more sense. Uh, big brother, come here for a second. Uh, and then uh, forgetting yada yada, so let's ignore it for a second. Good grief. Oh, yada yada. <laughs> so while he's thinking that, uh, he enters the forest. Nice. And then we use Ita right here, because us, the third person narrator, watches them leave our current setting. And then afterwards, we probably run after them so we can see, see what's going on. But this is how it's a little bit different than just being told from Jack's point of view. We're kind of like in the story, we're like a, we're the cameraman. <laughs> like we're filming the Kardashians, <laughs> we, we're the narrator. So we're normally following Jack, but Jack has entered the forest without us for a second. <laughs> yeah, Cause now we're gonna like change the setting. So they use eat that. Um, Archie, wanna go see us? Uh, Kino Haga. Uh, so our subject is Kinoha. You know what that is? Uh, something of a tree. I'm not it sure is. what the ha is. <laughs> Ha means leaf. Ah, okay. So the um, leaves abite yuhi. You know what abite means? Um, no. So you might have heard about it in like shawa o abiru. It's like, I think that's how that word is taught in Genki. <laughs> um, so abite kind of means like to soak in something, like okay. something rains itself upon you, is kind of what it means. So. The leaves soak up the evening light, and then they kagayaku. What does um, kagayaku mean? They they sh they're shining uh, yellow. Exactly, nice golden color, kinido. Nice. Um, and feverish. Oni ga shimasu. Kochi yo, oni san, hayaku. Uh, what does that mean? Is she saying like, "Come here, big brother, quickly"? Exactly, perfect. And Myers, on the Ani wa oki na kashi no ki no shita ni tatte ita. Kashi, I. So kashi means evergreen. I forget what type. Of, okay, evergreen. Doesn't matter. Uh, she. 
underneath she stood underneath the big evergreen tree nice and we have a na right here because if this said e it gets a little confusing um but i'll talk about that later boop -a -doo, boop boop okay um little talky part um feverish what up uh kore mite thank you <laughs> um so it's it's like he's saying like see uh uh look at this and <laughs> um ani ga yubi sashite iru no wa um so ippon ippon no uh uh nawa bashi go da da yep nawa bashi go do you know what a nawabashi go is? Um, oh, a ladder? <laughs> yep, specifically a rope ladder. Um, nawa means rope. Gotcha, gotcha. Nawabashi go. Rope ladder. So, um, um, so this no right here is the pronoun no I talked to you about before. What do you think it's referring to? um pointing to the rope ladders yeah um they're using no here because like uh they didn't want it to be too like boring so the rope ladder aniga yubisashiteru what does yubisashiteru mean uh pointing at yeah so the thing annie was pointing at was no nawabashigo datta what does that mean one like yep just one rope ladder just, just one rope ladder that's what it's saying we're, we're now no there's not two we know exactly how many rope ladders there was <laughs> yep makes sense and myers onegaishimasu uh, uh nante nagai nawabashigo nanda yep. uh, like uh oh my gosh what is this why is this here that's a good guess, but it's actually not saying that. <laughs> so, nante and nanda are actually not real questions, but in English we do the same thing. So, this is basically, they're just like uwa. So, he literally went uwa, uwa, uwa three, three times in the sentence. Um, so, in English we would use the word how in this case. We use how this way. Wow, 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 how nagai. <laughs> you know what nagai means? Long in this case. Yep. So he says, wow, how long? Wow, so so long. That, that's so it's not like really like questioning why is it here or anything like that. He's just is saying it's such a long now about you go. And he's just surprised by that. That like it's one thing to have a rope ladder here, it's another thing for it to be that long and in general, he's just very surprised. So they're just they're just explanations of surprise. Nante nagai na wa bashigo nanda. Wow. Um, Archie, onegaishimasu. Uh, sore wa Jack no atama no haru ka ue. Uh, eda ga futatsu ni wakarete iru to. Nice. Just so you know, it's tokoro. Tokoro. Ah, okay. <laughs> just because, like, just in case you didn't get, get that, because it's hard I when things are split. <laughs> I did not. Okay. Hi. Um, so we are talking about sore. What's sore? Um, the ladders. Yes. So. Um, it's, so the ladder was above Jack's head. Yes. I would start with tsuiteru if I was translating this. Oh, okay. Um, and kind of go like that. Yes. Um. Uh, 
What is to do mean? To continue. So the letter continues far above Jack's head. Then Eda ga futatsu ni wakareteru tokoro made. You know what made means? Uh, up, like an up till. Yes. So that means the next part, this, that whole thing is telling you where the ladder ends. So it's on a tree. And where does it stop? So, uh, yeah, I am not sure of the meaning of Eda ga. Ah, so Eda. Uh -huh. um means branch okay all oh, these tree parts yes <laughs> um so like two of the branches what does what got it day to mean um to to separate yes so the so to separate into two branches or the branch separated into two. Uh, okay. It's more like the separate okay. two branches. So this, the main trunk of this tree. So up to the like place this. where it branches into two. That's yep. how tall this ladder is. Yeah, that's how far it continues. Perfect, nice. And Myers, onigaishimasu. <laughs> Nice. Uh, uh, I have no idea what meo karashite is. Mm. So, karashite is, is something you do with your eyes in order to yoku miru, which means um, uh, it's so like squinting. Back and forth kind of thing. Uh, no. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> it's like the strain your eyes. Meo karashite yoku miru to. So he takes uh, a good look after squinting his eyes a bit. <laughs> and then there, a, a small square shaped uh, tree hut. Uh, I'm not that sure what Mokati that would be. Okay, I'm back. Uh, hi. Yep, a square tree hut sits upon the tree. So theoretically, oops, this E is here so that we know we're talking about the hut, the koya. So theoretically, if um, you change the E here into a na, it could theoretically be talking about the key. Though most likely not since there's a no here, but um, that's kind of like, E is a lot looser as far as glue goes because a lot that long ago we saw Okina uh, something which was mm -hmm. the Okina tree. Rep Okina tree. So this is telling us that this is not an Okina shita. Right? <laughs> that, that makes no sense. Okina shita? What? Because shita means like below. But we're not describing the below, below is big. We're describing the evergreen tree as big. So that's why that na is here. Because if it did E, then suddenly it becomes big below and makes no sense. So that's like a interesting little quirk about Japanese of E versus na. So basically all E adjectives can turn into na adjectives. It's called like novelize, like it has like a weird name that sounds like um, novelization, but it's not that word. <laughs> I don't remember it on top of my head, but that's that's an interesting little tidbit. And um, um, what would nakateiru be? Um, so nakateiru means like to have climbed on, but um, in this case, it's just it's like sitting there. The the tree hat's like placed up in the tree, and it's it's kind of just being used to say that. It just it, the 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 verb itself doesn't translate well. Yeah, to... contextually, I would have just said there's a tree house. <laughs> yep, there's, there's a tree house up there, but here it has like a climbed, like I guess someone had a climb there to put it up there type of idea. Like it's not just there by magic, right? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, it just it means like it's <laughs> up in the tree. <laughs> um and uh feverish, onigaishimasu. Yes. Uh Tsuri how su da. Yep. Uh, Jaku no uh, Shinzo ga uh, Doki Doki to 
Takanata. So in English, shin, Shinzo and Kokoro would have basically the same meaning in this context. Interesting. Uh, okay. You said like Shinzo and Kokoro have the Kokoro. same? In, in this context, in English, kind of, like I'll, I'll go into the details in a bit, but you, you're on the translating side, Kokoro. Do you okay. know what Kokoro means? Yes, I think it means like place. Uh, no, it's Tokoro. Oh. <laughs> Kokoro means heart, and Shinzo oh. also means heart. They both have that meaning. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I guess like Jack's heart. Uh, doki Doki. Yep. Jack's, Jack's heart doki doki. That's all we need to know, really. <laughs> uh, takanatta means throbbed, and doki doki is the way in which it throbbed. Really, you know, he's not having a heart attack right now. <laughs> so, oh, okay. Very good. He's very excited, throbbing of the heart. So, kokoro and shinzo, how are they different? So, kokoro is more like spirit of a heart like um, your feelings, your soul, and Shinzo is more like the physical aspects of your heart. So if anybody watched Attack on Titan, you might have heard Shinzo ga sasageyo, which means give your heart to the cause, but that basically it means like die for the cause, like live as far as your physical heart allows, but they don't use kokoro because kokoro would basically mean like in the afterlife, like give your soul to the cause. They don't care about if you actually believe, you just die for the cause, so Shinzo is used there. Hmm. So it's like um, a mortal, mortal word. <laughs> mortal. Mortality is important because kokoro a lot of times it has the same meaning of like soul in Japanese in like a lot of different ways. Um, and Archie, what do you guys want to say? Um, so that's that's the number one tallest, absolutely tallest treehouse, um, says Annie in the mm -hmm. world. In the world. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. And Myers, onigashimasu. Uh, so that nante uh, is not wow, how it's not a question. Uh, I, I'm still thinking about this as like a sense of wondering about why, but you're saying it's not why, so. Yeah, it's not really why. You know what shinanakatta means? I uh, didn't know. Yeah, so I didn't know a triasu ga atta konna tokoro ni. That there was a tree house here. Yes. That's that's exactly what he's saying. Then konna and nante are being used to like show how surprised he is by this because he goes he lives in this town. He comes home from the library all the time. He plays in this forest. So konna tokoro in such a place as this, the fact that there's a tree house here, I had no idea. That's crazy. Wow. Nante. Nante is very like wow. And konna is different in that kona is only underlining the word that comes right after it. So it's adding wow only to tokoro, while nante kind of adds wow to the whole sentence. So kona is very similar to such in English. Such a place as this? That's crazy. I had no idea. Um, and feverish. Onigaishimasu. Yes, uh, Jaku wa uh, Koya wo uh, Jito. Yep. Uh, cool. Uh, Mia geta mama. Uh, tsubu yaita. Yep. So tsubu yaku. Do you know what that means? The kanji oh. has kuchi in it. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> So tsubuyaku means tumata. Here's the kanji for you. Tumata. Hmm. Um, do you know what mama means? It's a time phrase. Uh, does it mean like quickly? 
or Mm, soup? not really. It's kind of the opposite of quickly if I had to compare the two words. Um, mama means that as long as this verb is occurring, this may occur as well, kind of. Uh, so it's similar to nagara. But uh, so like earlier we had um, nagara. So it basically it means while. Okay. But it's not like definite. It's like it could happen. Uh, it, it's kind of definite um, in this context. It just mama can be used in like other contexts than just nagara. Like sono mama is like a phrase. So it's like as that state continues. So it, it's very much talking about a state of being type of phrase. So it's kind of like how tokoro if you, can mean place, but it also has the meaning of time. And nagara just gets attached to the verb. It, it doesn't like have any like other things, but mama is more like time as well as, as that. It's, it's, it's just like, it's like a noun. <laughs> mama is like a noun. Almost. Well, nagara is more like something that's conjugating. It's like being added to the verb than being its own thingy. Hmm. But yeah, don't don't think about it too hard. <laughs> you you can just translate it as wow in this context. You know what? Mi ageta? You could probably guess by the kanji. Uh probably like looking above. Looking exactly. Up. Looking up. So G is a sound effect for staring at something. Oh, gee. <laughs> so what does Jack stare at? Uh, stares at the, the small roof. <laughs> so close. It's actually a small hut. Oh, OK. That's house. Yeah. Cool. Uh, what does Tsubiyaku mean again? Oh, oh boy. Uh, what is he doing just while he's staring? <laughs> I did. Konna tokoro ni tsurihase ga anta nante shiranakatta. That's Jack Tubuyakuing. Cause he's is he is he ask is he saying this to Annie? Um I I think so. He's actually not. <laughs> he's saying this to himself out loud. That's why um, like it that's what they're kind of saying. He's saying that he's muttering this like under his breath, maybe. That's like how like surprised he is. Nante. He's, he's like so surprised, like, wow, there's a house right here, but he's not really talking to his Annie. If Annie like wasn't here, he would sail, still say that. Okay. Uh, oh, what did that last word mean? I, I couldn't figure it Tsubiyaku, out. Tsubiyaku, <laughs> to mutter. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, mutter. I had to look it up too. There's a yeah. second definition that I didn't know, oh. which is apparently to post on Twitter. Because <laughs> birds tweet, so tweet becomes yep. Tsubiyaku. That's funny. <laughs> apparently. Huh. Nice. Okay. So now we have this cool ass picture. As we can see right over here, we got these two big branches splitting up where suddenly the rope lag stops. Okay. Now we get to finally have some vertical practice. And Archie, what do you guys um, dare no tree house nan daro. So here is an actual question. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Who's, whose tree house is this? You know what the daro means? Um, like, whose could it be? Kind yeah, of it's like a it's like a vocal wondering. I wonder whose place this is. Dare no he sees nan daro. So it's like I wonder in this context. Um, feverish. Uh, ne, uh, no bate, uh, me nai. No bote me nai? Oops, yeah. Uh, no bote me nai. Uh, yeah, I don't know that hiragana. <laughs> no boru, uh, means to climb, and me nai means like, don't you want to? is like, why don't we climb this? Like, let's climb it, basically. And Archie, what's this? Oh, sorry, sorry. Fe- I wanted feverish to do that. Oh, okay. Uh, what does that mean? Uh, can't. Oh. 
Yeah. It was like useless. <laughs> dam, dam, dam it up. Yes. Uh, I'd say no can do. No, no, that's bad. He's telling her she's not allowed to do that thing. Dam it up. That's, that's not allowed. Okay. Um, okay. Um, we do not know whose thing that is. <laughs> because because we do not know who who who's whose tree house this is. That's the mono thing. Whose thing that is, we do not know. So because of that, it is dame. Um and feverish, one guy shimas. Yes, uh Choto uh Miru Dake. What does uh, dake mean? I'm not too sure. <laughs> only. <laughs> only. So altogether, what does chotto miru dake mean? Uh, it's like chotto, like, wait a second. It can. Uh, you'd be saying chotto matte if you wanted that exact meaning. Oh, okay. Uh, just, I guess, like, wait, look. So wait is matte. He said wait a little was chotto matte. So chotto actually just means a little. <laughs> I see, I see. Uh, so a lot of times, whatever verb that goes with it will be dropped. So chotto, someone might just say, and they might mean wait a little bit. But we have the verb miru here, so we know chotto is modifying miru. So a little miru. What do you think that means? Look a little. Yes. So she said, "I'm just gonna look a little. That's it, big brother. Just a little bit. Let me take a peek." <laughs> um, and. Archie, let's see if you can read it even if you have to move a bit. Nobody Hajimeta. Yep. So uh Annie grabbed the uh, rope ladder and began to climb. Perfect. And um which is, it's dangerous. Hurry up and climb down. Well, just, just climb down. There's no hurry up in there. <laughs> um, and golf. Onigashimasu. I mean, my is golf. That's Jeff, by the way. Jeff. Uh, ah. Where Sorry. Did I go? That was me. <laughs> You could no kikasu don don no bot de no bot take yeah. Hi. So first off, kikazu. Kikazu. So do you know kiku? Uh, yep. What does that mean? Uh, that's uh to listen. So kikazu. Do you know, have you learned question. zoo yet? Uh, uh, zoo is like don't. Close. It's actually, it has a meaning of without. Which is very similar to don't. So it's saying without tikuing, um, which is listening. So without listening. And what was he not listening to? Uh, the thing that he said, or yes. the things he was saying. She don don no botteiku. What does that mean? Don don no botteiku. She. Don don is like not continuously, but like like like. Pretty fast, oh, really. Don like, don don don. Right. <laughs> How about no botte? Uh, that would be uh climbed uh away. Nice, and the away part is the iku. So just climbed up and then away is iku. Climbed away. Climbed up away. Don don don. Um, ya got the tree house ni tadori tuki sururito nakani haite shimatta. So she, after a little bit, but like pretty soon, uh, she arrives at the tree house and in like a fwa kind of way, um, she kind of, she completely enters the house and Jack is kind of like, ah, I hate this. Um, and Archie. Sorry, I lost track of what uh, I was last, 
Last line, right, right last over line. here. Okay, thank you. Um, anite wa. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, anite ba. ba. Uh, i ikura yon demo. Uh, ani wa. Um, orite konai. Yes. Um, I'm not sure what the ba does to any. Mm. But... So. Uh, I'm not exactly sure like what like the grammar is, but any teba is like you, Annie. It's it, it's uh, it's kind of like a thing you add to someone's name when you're mad at them. Okay, so um, no matter uh, how much um, he called out, uh, she wouldn't come come down. Perfect. So rude! How dare she? Uh, wait. And Myers, one guy she knows. Uh, Moichido Yobo Toshita Toki Aniga Three House no Mado Kara Kao Dashta. Uh, one more. Uh, mm. so uh, before you do that, uh, I'm gonna uh, tell you Botoshta. This that's... insinuates you did not actually do the action. The action was well, not completed. I thought it was as much as you wanted to. Uh, no. Like no matter how hard you try kind of thing. That was the Temel that we saw on the line above. Which was no matter how many times she called, that's Yon Demo. Demo right over here was doing that over there. But um, Toshitara? means um so your bowl means um like volation code like let's let's right. yell is basically what that means and then we have to so we're quoting yelling stop which means to do so to do let's yell actually means to be about to yell so you're going to be doing like okay i'm going to be yelling okay i'm prepping myself i have ah i took a deep breath i'm uh, i'm completing the the verb. So yobo to shita toki means the time when I was like, okay, I'm gonna go yell out Annie one more time. He took the breath. Perhaps he said ah, uh, but he didn't I, actually I, complete the action. Is I was means. thinking of toshitemo. Toshitemo. See the temo. Temo would, yep. would definitely be the imidif. Okay, okay, that makes more sense. Uh, so. Annie out of the treehouse's window, her head like popped. Exactly, she popped her head out. And that's another example of dasu being more like appearing than leaving. I don't know, just like, it's just like you know, you, you first start learning, they're like, dasu means to leave, but like it almost never means to leave. <laughs> uh, so it's more like to appear, it's just something that like bothers me. <laughs> like it's, it's so much confusing later on. Um, Feverish, onigaishimasu. Yes, uh, hongai pai yo. Uh, <laughs> I can see that it's a book. <laughs> yep. Uh, ippai <laughs> means a lot. Like you might say, onaka ippai or something, which would mean I'm full or something like that. Ippai uh, just means a lot or fullness. But here it's a lot. So this is Annie yelling. She says, there's a whole lot of books here. Nandate, which is here's our actual question. Nandate, what did you say? Um, because te right here is to you to say. Nandate. Um, and Archie, onigaishimasu. Uh, omoshiro so na honga uh, ippai aru no. Uh, there's a lot of interesting books here. Or it look uh, books that look interesting. Yes, exactly the looks. Good job catching that soul on that. And um, feverish. Onigaishimasu. Yes. Uh, is that like etsu or just like eh? Uh, eh. Oh, okay. So eh, uh, hon, <laughs> hon ga aru nara, uh, mite mitai. So just like uh, or like 
Oh, it, books. Yep. It, oh, <laughs> books. Exactly. And oh, then, books. Uh, <laughs> uh, books and then Arunai or Arunada. What is Aru? Books ga Aru? Hon ga Aru? What does that mean? Uh, is it like there are? Yes. Nada has a meaning of like if, basically. So if there are books, mitai. This name. Hon. Hon o mitai. Uh, I can, well, so I know it has something to do with seeing, but I'm not sure it what does. Mitai is. So mitai means want, specifically mitai with te form in front of it. So if you see mitai in other places, it does not mean want. So te form plus mitai is want. So he's saying, if there are books, then I want to see them. So obviously <laughs> now he's being converted to the dark side. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and I'm going to have Meyer do our last sentence of the day. Jack wa hanasaki made zuri ochita nagani wo oshiage senaka no ryuku o tashikameru to nawabashi ko o nigitte nobori hajimeta. Nice. So it's a long sentence. It is, but it's actually not a hard sentence. Um, so first off, so, megane, what does that mean? It's glasses. Yes. And then this is what happened to the glasses. The glasses slid down his nose. Until uh, his, they slid his... down until his hanasaki. So it sat on the tippity tip, the saki of his nose. So. Yeah, that threw me off. I was like, okay, wait, <laughs> what is that? Is that? Yep. And Jack now to his megane does oshiage. Uh, I, ah, uh, okay. So probably pushed up or something. Exactly. So this right here, this form is, um, I think mas form minus mas, which basically just has a meaning of and. So, and. <laughs> Then he does this. It's just a very like generic and. So unlike nada, which is a very specific if, this is just a very generic and. Um, and then he does senaka no ryukku. So ryukku is short for rucksack. In other words, backpack. Uh, okay. I was thinking of, like the chess piece or something. Yeah. Yeah, it's not used in American English all that much these days. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so what does he do with his backpack? Uh, uh, what? It's kind of weird. Have, do you know what a tameshi reading is? Tam tameshi yomu. No. Uh, tameshi yomu is like a, a trial reading for something, and tashikamedu means like to test something out. So he's kind of like checking his backpack, basically, in this case. He's making sure like it's all zipped up. He's kind of doing some junbi right now. Maybe he like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. reset his backpack on his shoulders. And then we have to right here. So to is a specific kind of and, unlike this and. And it has means that he does this action before he's allowed to do the next action. Like you're not really supposed to do it in any other order. It's a kind of cause and effect relationship. So basically he would not have felt confident in um, nigiting the nawabashigo if he did not tashikameru his backpack first. So because of that, this needed to occur first. So then what happens? Uh, so then he clutches the rope and starts climbing. Exactly. Perfect. And that is the end of chapter one. And we'll do the next chapter next week. Kyoryu no Zukan. Nice. So we did Sounds pretty good. good. Yeah. Um, any questions 